Yellowstone volcano is waking up and just cracked open the earth. The reason behind this will leave you shocked. Yellowstone isn't just an American treasure, it is also the oldest national park in the world. Established in 1872, Yellowstone stretches across 3,472 square miles in three states. Nearly three million people visit the park each year to take in the breathtaking scenery, which includes the famous Old Faithful Geyser, as well as numerous hiking trails, mountain peaks, and hot springs. Not to mention the grizzly bears, moose, elk, beavers, and bighorn sheep that seek their homes in the park. However, beneath the surface of this outdoor enthusiast's utopia is another natural wonder that might potentially erase the park from existence forever. Miles under Yellowstone's surface, the Yellowstone supervolcano churns forth vast amounts of granitic magma. It occasionally stirs, but it hasn't awoken in roughly 70,000 years, though a Chicago-sized section of it has been pulsing. Could this be a hint that it's about to wake up? What would happen if the volcano erupted, and what would it mean for us? Let's talk more about it in today's video. In northwestern Wyoming, in the heart of Yellowstone National Park, a seething caldera is the remnant of a massive volcanic eruption that occurred 640,000 years ago. Magma and superheated fluids churning in the rock below the surface power the geologic wonders of the park surrounding the caldera, which are characterized by erupting geysers and bubbling pools. The Norris Geyser Basin, found to the northwest of the caldera, is one such location, and it is home to more than 500 hydrothermal phenomena. These tumultuous geysers and pools are constantly evolving, even from one day to the next, but something much more significant is also happening. A region larger than Chicago that is located around the basin has been experiencing regular bursts of inflation and deflation of several inches for over 20 years. In Yellowstone, a very volcanically active area, pinpointing the precise reasons for any one shift is challenging. Recent research published in the Journal of Geophysical Research, Solid Earth, however, suggests a possible explanation for the land's in and out breathing. Scientists modeled potential changes below the surface of Norris Geyser Basin using decades of satellite-based radar and GPS data. A magma body intruded beneath Norris in the late 1990s, releasing fluids that then flowed upward through the rocky maze. The ground would rise as fluids became trapped and pressure increased, and then fall again as the fluids found a way to escape. Fluids produced from magma may now be located only a mile or two below the surface. For the record, the new study does not suggest that the supervolcano that formed the Yellowstone caldera is more likely to erupt now. Instead, these seismic shifts may shed light on why the park's steamboat geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, has been spewing at an unprecedented rate since March 2018. There has been some talk among researchers that the changes below Norris may enhance the likelihood of hydrothermal explosions in the basin. Yellowstone's geology is difficult to pin down because of its complexity and stealth. However, scientists concur that the ground movement can be explained by the injection of a sizable magma body and the fluids that escaped during the eruption. The Notorious NGB To date, the Norris Geyser Basin has the longest documented history of any thermal area in Yellowstone at 115,000 years. As the hottest place on Earth, it measures 459 degrees Fahrenheit, around 1,000 feet below the surface. Steamboat Geyser is a prime example of how quickly and dramatically this hot spot of Yellowstone may shift. The 400-foot-tall geyser has a long history of rare outbursts, with periods of quiet ranging anything from four days to half a century. However, since March of 2018, Steamboat has been erupting weekly. In 2018, it set a record with 32 eruptions, but in 2019, it topped itself with 48 eruptions. While the public may be fascinated by the geyser's unpredictable activity, scientists are more focused on the dramatic trembling of the basin. An 18-mile stretch saw a 4.7-inch increase between 1996 and 2004, then a 2.8-inch decrease between 2005 and 2013. And then, in late 2013 and early 2014, the area suddenly jumped up at the fastest rate of uplift ever recorded in Yellowstone National Park, 5.9 inches. 
A 4.9 magnitude earthquake hit Norris Geyser Basin in March 2014, halting the previously unstoppable uplift. The land sank and rose steadily until early 2019 when it started to recede, but it's around 5 inches higher in the basin than it was in the year 2000. Underground Churnings Norris Geyser Basin's deformation was tracked using satellite radar and GPS data, and scientists believe the upheaval started when magma surged about 8 to 9 miles below the surface between 1996 and 2001. The basin is located on the Norris Mammoth Corridor, a line of faults and vents just beyond the northwest rim of the youngest caldera of the supervolcano. Any location where two weak zones cross one another is a potential entry point for magma. The uplift during 1996 to 2004 was caused by a magmatic intrusion, and as the magma cooled, fluids dissolved inside it bubbled to the surface. Between 2005 and 2013, the ground may have sunk again as a result of this process, which reduced the magma body's internal pressure and resembled the deflation of a leaky balloon. Since then, the ground has been slowly but steadily creeping upwards as the escaping fluid has continually become caught in the pockets beneath layers of rock. In spite of extensive research, scientists have not been able to pin down the precise nature of the feedback loop between magmatism and hydrothermal activity. The new model is plausible, but it's still just a guess. Possible fluids from non-magmatic sources, such as the heavy snows of recent years, accumulate in pockets and occasionally escape elsewhere as the landscape inhales and exhales. Geysers and possible explosions on the surface. Researchers believe magma-derived fluids have settled close below the surface of Norris Geyser Basin. Numerous hydrothermal explosion craters, some of which date back thousands of years, are scattered around the area. These craters were created when geological pressure cookers of trapped, hot water suddenly depressurized and flash-boiled into steam as the rock cracked. Although such explosions are uncommon, a new eruption could happen at any time at Norris Geyser Basin. Hydrothermal explosions may be marginally more probable if fluids have accumulated near the basin's surface. Small, undetected changes in the rocky plumbing networks constantly increase and decrease the likelihood of an explosion. Although the experts cannot rule out the likelihood of further explosions, they do not advise that the area be made off-limits to tourists. In the event of an eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano, the following would occur. Molten rock close below the surface would begin melting as heat rose from the planet's core. That would result in a chemical stew of magma, rocks, steam, carbon dioxide, and other gases. Over thousands of years, as the mixture accumulated and ascended, the pressure would drive the ground up into a dome shape, with fractures forming along the sides. With the pressure finally relieved, the dissolved gases would explode, and the magma would quickly drain out throughout the park. There could be as many as 90,000 immediate fatalities, and molten ash from the eruption could travel as far as 1,000 miles, or 1,609 kilometers away from the park. It's likely that rescuers would have a difficult time gaining access. Much like what happened in 2010 when a much smaller volcano erupted in Iceland, the ash would cut off all points of entry from the ground and the spread of ash and gases into the airspace would stop most air movement. Some experts have warned that a nuclear winter might cover the United States and most of the rest of the planet if Yellowstone erupted. As the volcano erupted, sulfuric gases were released into the atmosphere, where they would have mingled with the planet's water vapor. A blanket of gas haze over the land would do more than just dampen sunshine, it would also bring down temperatures. Dropping temperatures would wreak havoc on our food supply, destroying crops and disrupting food webs by starving people at the bottom of the food web. Many climate experts think this is exactly what happened in 535 CE after a supervolcano erupted in Java. Scientists have repeatedly informed the public over the past few years that the volcano shows no signs of erupting with the huge heave-ho that has become so infamously associated with it. But they are still watching and learning. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about a volcano eruption at Yellowstone? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.
got 